So the brief at the beginning of the week is we set the challenge to the students on how we can modernise Transport for London's traffic lights better. We have a limited amount of money, we want to do more for that limited amount of money and we want the, the students to consider innovative ways of how they can spend that money to get more efficient traffic signals, more reliable traffic signals and do other things like reduce the carbon footprint. I've been working with Entrepreneurs Into Action on this programme more recently and I must say it's been a very exciting for me um, in the work that I've been doing and what Entrepreneurs Into Action do with pupils and schools around London. I think there's a lot that you can gain out of a programme like what Entrepreneurs Into Action do. It helps to build your confidence, it helps for you to kind of broaden your mind and think outside the box, which is something that we all have to do as adults. And it helps to prepare you for when you leave school and you get out there in the big wide world. Hello, my name is Simba and I'm the CEO of Infinite Direction. Our company was given a formidable challenge of modernising Transport for London's traffic lights. Our task was to present a business case that sets out two options on how the annual budget is spent to keep our traffic light signals in good state of repair in the interest of the safety and efficiency. At first we were like kind of shocked at the people that we're going to be doing the project for. Um, when they started explaining it we started to get understand it more. It was like people's going to come from TFL so we was expecting them to be like a bit serious and get maybe boring talking about a lot of things but they've been um, kind of fun and interactive with us. They helped us um, with the challenge like they gave us their contact details and we can ask them questions like one times a day regarding any information we need to in order to make this challenge successful. Everything. <laughs> yeah. We was on the computer researching the information like statistics and some people went out and did their own questionnaires and asking people who they found on the streets like we, were, we had to be cooperative with each other so that we know where everyone is and then we can put the ideas together because we're working as one company, not like individuals. Everyone is involved, you know, you get 24, 25 students I think it was and every single one of them came up and, and presented and, and had a couple of minutes to, to say something and I think I think it was it was done really well. What they did was amazing and I think I could have done that as a 14 year old and how they came across and their confidence whether they were nervous or not was I thought outstanding, they should be proud of themselves. The, the, the quality of the presentations and the way they thought about how to pitch it and build, uh, build each part of the presentation at the end, I've seen external consultancies come in and not given a good polished presentation like that, it was really really good. If I got all my engineers together to put through a put forward a presentation, it would be at the same level as well. You know, it wouldn't be any better. You know, I couldn't see how you can improve on that. It was very high standard. I think the um, the expectation and what they delivered was, was well above what we expected. I think we were told at the beginning of the week to um, expect. Um, being blown away at the end of the week and we were like yeah okay these are these are 14 year olds you know we've been doing traffic signals for a very long time yeah okay let's see and at the end of the week we're sitting there as a panel and our jaws are dropping at some points and we are blown away and we were I mean it's just like wow this is just just the wow factor at the end of the week the evaluation is being written now but I'm anticipating students saying things like I didn't realise I could do that or I wanted the opportunity to do that or I knew that those were the sort of things I needed to do but I've never had the, I, need to, I need to do it or I will be putting this down or I'm going to do my work experience with engineering. I'm anticipating lots of those things. At the moment they're at a bit of a crossroads in terms of what options they need to choose. Um, the future kind of depends on what choices they make now and having this experience is really going to enlighten them about where things can lead to. Control people. <laughs> no, no. no. Um, what I'm taking takeaway is that, like, uh, yeah, I can control people. I know how to like associate with them. I'm so uh, sociable and like I'm taking away more courage to do things and 
just like an, a good experience of how to be a leader, a team player. So we've been like learning to work with each other and understanding them, helping each other. So that has brought us like our confidence and like new friends and things. Hey, all right. <laughs>